hey there different inspiration hub here so like i always say um, with lots of digital notes spinning up at a point it gets very complicated to be able to manage all these notes making sure that you have the right hardware requirements making sure that you have um, your internet connectivity is stable making sure that you're always running um, the recent version of the updates this can get quite cumbersome and that's why sometimes it's good to delegate your node to node as a service providers um, this basically means that you delegate your node to them and they take care about everything that has to do with the node operation for you so i already introduced easeflow on my channel during the testnet and also provided a tutorial on how to delegate your node to easeflow today i'm going to take you through the tutorial for mainnet on how to still delegate your node with easeflow so they have also a pretty good pricing plan and um, for instance you can run up to 25 lines on one node so the longer you take so for instance if you take one month you're going to pay 20 dollars if you take three months you're going to pay 57 and it basically goes higher in the discount depending on how long you run a node so like i said in all my videos um for instance for those who will be running more than one node so for instance if you have three nodes or so it might not be the best option to go for a vps because if you go for a vps you're going to be paying about um 25 dollars a month for the vps plan and then you're going to have to do all the work with respect to managing the node installing the node making sure that your node is running the latest application and stuff like that and in this case i find it better to just delegate your node to um, node as a service provider like nodeops where they can allow you to run up to 25 licenses all under one subscription now i was able to manage um, a 10 percent discount for you so if you use my referral link you're going to get a 10 percent discount of how much you're going to pay so to sign up all you're going to have to do is to click on the referral link that i'm going to put in the description section just come to your browser paste in the referral link and then press enter and then this would basically apply the 10 percent discount for you so what you're going to have to do here is to just put in your email address i'm going to put in my email address now and then when you put in the email address click on send verification so they are going to send a verification link to you which would automatically log you into your console so when you click on the verification link it's like i said it's going to bring you directly automatically log you into the console and then here you're going to deploy a node so just come to the select network option and choose ATA. and then here like i said you would have the possibility to be able to choose between different subscriptions so from one month all the way to one year and like i said with each node you can run up to 25 licenses which i find to be a huge advantage so for this example for instance i'm going to go with a one-year option right and then i'm going to go to pay and deploy and then here you would have several options to pay so you can either pay with cryptocurrencies like ethereum polygon pnb chain arbitrum and stuff like that or you can also pay with a credit card so with this option i'm just going to make an example and pay with credit card so what you see here is that the 10 percent discount has already been applied so initially i was supposed to pay 204 dollars and then now i'm going to pay 184 dollars because of the 10 percent discount that you're going to get if you use my referral link and then at this stage all you're going to have to do is to fill in your card details and then click pay and then your payments would go through so when you're done with that in the console just come to the node section and then you would see the node that you just set up so here like i said i'm going to be setting up an ATA node so i'm just going to click on this and i'm going to start with the configuration so here what you're going to have to do is to connect your wallet so just click on connect your wallet choose a wallet that you would like to use so in my example i'm going to be using metamask because that's where i have the ATA nft so i'm going to confirm the transaction and then you see that it automatically detects the number of licenses that i have in my wallet so in the case that you have several licenses this would also be listed here so what we're going to have to do now is to generate a private key by just clicking on generate and then the banner wallet address would be generated for us so now you see that our wallet is connected they automatically switch to the arbitrum one chain what we're going to do next is just do the delegation by clicking on delegate licenses and then we're going to confirm the transaction on arbitrum by just clicking on confirm so here because the arbitrum so the mainnet is taking place on the arbitrum one network so make sure that you have some eat on arbitrum one to cover for the gas fees so here the gas fees are incredibly low because arbitrum has relatively lower gas fees so i'm just going to click on confirm to confirm the transaction and then hooray like you can see here all licenses have been delegated so it's really good that you don't even need to go to the um, ATA console all the things that has to do with your node can be done directly in their console and as you can see here the progress is green so it means that everything is up and running if you want to have a quick check you can also go to the ATA dashboard so on the console what we're going to do first as always is to connect our wallets I'm going to choose MetaMask I'm going to select the account that has my NFT I'm going to confirm the transaction and I'm going to sign the transaction And then when the page loads, loads just come to licenses and then hooray the 
node is delegated and it's already up and running. So what I personally find very good is that you can do everything in the console here without you even having to come to the ATA on a portal. So that's how easy it is um, to delegate your node if you are using a NAS like Easflow. If you have any questions, like always, you can put this in the comment section or you can come to the Easflow um, Discord server and the people there are very, very happy to help you solve any problem that you would have. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye.